Welcome to today's session. So we continue looking at question 9 of the 2021 grade 12 GCE mathematics paper 1. So question 9 leads, a letter is chosen at random from the letters of the word hero. What is the probability that it is the letter L? Okay. So we have the word, this word. So in this word, what you notice here is we can break down the letters. So we have H, we have E, then we have L, then we have O. So these are the four unique letters that makes up this letter. So how many H are there? We have one. Then how many E are there? We have one. Then how many L are there? There are two. Then how many O's are there? There are one. So we get in total of letters. So the total number of letters, there are five. So now, what's the chance that we'd pick L? So probability that we are going to pick L out of this is basically how many L's are there? We have two out of how many letters? Five. So this is basically the probability that we are being asked to deal to find. So basically, this is how we get this one mark. It's even straightforward, that's why it's one mark. 9B, solve the equation. So we have 125x is equal to 1 over 25. So this is again is on indices. So what we need to, to, to think about when we're given an equation on indices, the first thing that we need to think about is ensuring that the two sides, the right side and the left hand side, they have the same bases. So this function can also be written as 125 x is equal to 120 uh, is equal to 25 to the power negative 1. Remember the law of indices when you have 1 over a to the power x, what it means is this is the same as a to the power negative x because this division, this negative power means division. So we can express this in common. So what number can you multiply itself? Uh, to get a 25. So we can multiply 5. So 5 is a factor of 25. So if we multiply 5 3 times, we can get 125. So we are going to have a 5 to the power 3 less to the power x, this x, then is equal to, in this case, how many times can we multiply 5 to get a 125? So that we have the same base. So to get a 25, so we have 5 to the power 2, then less to the power negative. Then these powers can, multi can be multiplied. So 3x times 3 times x is 3x. So we have 5 to the power 3x is equal to this 2 multiplied by negative 1. So we have 5 to the power negative 2. Then if you notice here is the base here is a 5. So if this is a 5 and the, these are equal, what it means the power should be the same. So what it means is we have 3x is equal to basically negative 2. Then we divide by 3, we divide by 3. So we end up with x is equal to nothing but negative 2 over 3. So basically this is how you solve Part B of question 9 to get the uh, 2 marks. Okay, so let us move to question 10. So question 10 is only a uh, area or me measurements. So we're trying to find the measurements. So that's where question 10 is coming from. So question 10, let me just move to the next. A cleaner version, we clear. So question 10 is given that A is equal to a set of x where x is less than 6 and x is a natural number list a so we need to understand what natural numbers are so natural numbers are basically these are the numbers that we use for counting and ordering okay then we have natural numbers and all numbers so all numbers all numbers basically uh they include zero while natural numbers they don't include include zero okay so when you talk about natural numbers, we are talking about source set A will have all the numbers that start with 1, 2, 3, so 4. So we are saying uh, x is less than 6. So the last number which is less than 6, natural number is a 5. So this is the list of natural numbers. So if it was uh, all numbers, it was going to include a 0. So if it was um, uh, integers, we are going to also include the negatives, but uh, no decimal places, okay? 
but we can include the fractions. Okay. Let us look at B. B, the diagram below shows a sector X O Y. The the arc X Y subtends an angle of theta at the center O, and the radius of the sector is six centimeter. Given that the area of the sector is 33 cm square, find the value of theta. Again, understanding what we are being asked is important. In this case, we are being asked to find the theta. Okay? So now the area of a sector, the area of a sector is given by the theta, the angle that is subtending that sector over 360. Okay, so this is just a fraction of because a complete circle, that theta is 360. So 360 divided by 360 is a 1. So a one means the whole thing, but it's, since it's a sector, we get the fraction of that angle. Then we multiply by the area. So this is the area. Area is given by pi r square of a circle. But what we've been given? What have we been given? We've been given the area. So the area is thirty-three centimeter square. Then we are looking for this angle, which is theta. Then three sixty. Then we multiply by the pi. We've been told is to use twenty-two over seven. Then what's uh, the radius? The radius is six centimeters, so it's six square. So what we get at the end of the day is thirty-three is equal to um, theta over three sixty multiplied by. So we have uh, twenty-two over seven. Then multiply by uh, six times six is thirty-six over one. Okay, so this is over one. So what you know here, basically, before you even start uh, doing anything, remember in paper one, you don't have calculators are not allowed. So you need to, before you start multiplying, you need to see what you can cancel. So this one and this one here is a 10. 36 into 36 is a 10. I know 10, 2 can go into 10 is a 5. 10 into 22 is a 11. Okay? Then, a twist, that's much more easier. Then, once I do that, once I do that, is uh, much more straightforward. Then I can multiply. So uh, once I multiply, it will be theta multiplied by eleven. Theta multiplied by eleven. Let me just create space here. Theta multiplied by eleven is basically we have thirty-three is equal to uh, eleven. The angle we are looking for. We are looking for theta. Then we have five times uh, five times seven, which is thirty-five. Five times th seven, which is basically thirty-five. So you have 35 like that. So once we have 35 by that, we can see what we can see. So we know that this is over 1. If we divide it by 11 both sides, 11 here is a 1. Uh, it's a 1. 11 into 33 is basically a 3. So we end up with basically a 3 equals theta over 35 then when you cross multiply theta is basically equal to 3 times 35 so what we do is 3 multiplied by a 5 is 15 we write a 5 remainder 1 3 multiplied by 3 is a 9 plus 1 is a 10 so we end up with 105 degrees as our answer only part b of question 10 so basically this is how you deal with question 10 and 9 Thank you for joining us. Till next time.